regionally. Several obstacles separate Comesa from its vision of prosperity through integration and industrialization. We have a few sectors where value addition is entrenched and we need to expand the areas where we add value to our primary products. Additionally, weak regulatory frameworks, rampant non-tariff barriers and weak technological capacity contribute to our underperformance in value addition and therefore in trade. Consequently, our economies remain vulnerable to global price volatility, affecting our primary product exports. In turn, this severely constricts our space to pursue the structural transformation of our economies and to achieve SDGs. To overcome this handicap, we have a historic opportunity to join forces in building the capacity of every player along the value chain, especially as regards ability to comply with competitive standards and to harmonize our standards and regulatory frameworks. In so doing, we will enhance the competitiveness of our products and enable them to penetrate regional and international markets. And Comesa should be able to provide the building blocks for us to ultimately build the Africa continental free trade area. Mr. President, in the last four months, I have, spent, I have sent a special envoy to 15 countries, among them Egypt, from Egypt to South Africa, because we need to consolidate the market around East African community, SADC, and Comesa. We are remaining with a few signatures. I think only three countries need to sign in so that we can consolidate this market into the TFTA that will give us 720 million people with a GDP of 1.3 trillion and we can create a huge market that can be competitive with other markets globally. Your Excellencies, time is of the essence. We need to persuade the few countries that are remaining so that we can actualize this market, eliminate unnecessary non-tariff barriers, eliminate unnecessary tariffs that are already built in our taxing, tax regimes so that we can trade more within our region. There is absolutely no justification for us in Africa to remain at 17% of intra-African trade when others are at 70%. There is no justification. It is not wise, it is not intelligent, it is not right.